The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Uh, welcome to the show today. Today has uh, a lot of things happening in history. Anyway, um, we are uh, not going to talk about some of the bad things that happened in the world, folks. Let's try to focus on some of the good things. Frankly, I can't take any more of it. It's really... Uh, it's really getting sick out there. So, but anyway, there's uh, Rich Anderson forwarded me an email uh, about this same type of thing, and it has been going on for a lot of time. It's just the fact that the news is so on top of everything that it blows. Uh, you know, it, in other words, you're looking at a microscope. Before, we used to read a newspaper about it, or in a magazine, and now you experience it as it's actually happening because of all the telephones. Let's get off the soapbox and move on. Folks, we've got a couple of things happening this week uh, that are very important. We've got a Bradley date that's due tomorrow. Uh, all I'm going to do now is to uh, bring up a, a chart of the E-mini S&P just to uh, show you what it looks like. It's a, a four-hour chart uh, that goes back uh, over the last four months. You'll see the Bradley date that we had in July. Uh, that was a low. Uh, and then we have another one there on September the 10th. Uh, that was also a low. And now we have another one that is occurring right here today or tomorrow. It extends all the way out into Friday because that's the harvest moon. So uh, Thursday, excuse me, Thursday. And we'll have uh, uh, Norm Winsky as our guest that day. So uh, we do have an ABCD structure here coming in uh, around this level right here. At 2528, the 1.618 level uh, of this swing uh, would take it up to around 2550, which we could certainly make without any trouble because, you know, everybody wants to own stock and uh, that's the right thing to do at this particular time. So that's what we're watching here in the stock market. Now, there's a interesting chart that I wanted to, uh, well, there's two of them. I'll bring one of them up here that we talked about yesterday because uh, this was. Uh, a very interesting one showing uh, the greed index that we have, and I imagine it is even farther to the right now, uh, probably closer to the 87% level. Uh, and it, just people are just, they want to own stock, and as they should, because the market has been going up. But if we take a look at the, the sell side indicator, and this is basically another way of looking at bullishness and bearishness, and this is going back. Uh, over 30 some years folks let me get this chart up here so you can take a look at it it does a pretty good job at some of these uh, areas of highs uh, as you can see the 99 high that was the dot-com bubble uh, then you saw the one in 2007 that was the too big to fail bubble and now we have the one that is the bubble of the bubbles but uh, we'll we don't know whether it's going to be a bubble or not you know maybe it's going to be a transition into a different type of an economy that we've actually uh, never seen before where we have lower taxes and less uh, regulations which would be great but you know we'll have to wait to see what it says you know the patterns say that we should be over a major top here but you know the market's not turning down yet and the key word here is yet because until it does it's a very very dangerous uh, situation to try to be short you don't have to risk very much at these levels because the volatility is so doggone low but uh, the fact is you know it's death by a thousand cuts I I haven't been short here for a couple of weeks. I'm going to try it again tomorrow and uh, uh, maybe Thursday, but I'm just waiting for that to happen. We had Arch Crawford on the show yesterday, and uh, he uh, didn't have a chance to talk about this one because time ran out because it was such an interesting uh, interesting show. So I uh, didn't get a chance to bring this up, but I wanted to show it to you folks now. This is the one that shows the uh, – the 52-week uh, new highs to new lows, and uh, this is far from a, a bull market here, folks. 
Uh, oh, it's a, the, thank you very much, Marshall. Marshall just told us that the Fear Green Index is at uh, 89. As soon as you interpolate those numbers at 98, Marshall, give us a call and <laughs> we'll see what happens. That'll probably be tomorrow. But anyway, uh, this does not look like a bullish market uh, when you look at the number of new highs to new lows. And remember, this is due to the fact that there's about 120 stocks that are running this market. There's, uh, you know, the, the, we've, we've talked about this many times. We don't need to do it. Uh, before, by the way, I have you know when you do this show, you you run into people you haven't heard from in a long time, and uh, yesterday I got a very unusual phone call. It's a very really great surprise phone call uh, from someone that I knew 40 years ago, and that was named Dr. Jeffrey Horwitz. He was one of the fellows that uh, started the uh, the uh, foundation for the study of cycles uh, after uh, Dewey and all these other guys were involved. He was involved in it, and he lives now down in uh, South Carolina now, and uh, he had heard me on the radio show, and we, you know, we, had, we had corresponded many times, and uh, we chatted about a lot of things, and he told me that he had done a lot of work with Bill Ehrman, and he was very impressed with the work that Ehrman had done, and uh, he was uh, you know, surprised to find out that Bill passed away about 18 months ago. But uh, he did say that some of his work was groundbreaking. And so I put him in touch with Kevin Murphy so uh, he might continue his uh, discussions. Because Kevin lived uh, in Nashville very, very close to uh, Bill Ehrman, and they spent a lot of time uh, together. Frankly, I never did get to meet Bill Ehrman. Several of my students were able to meet him, but I, I certainly didn't. But uh, he was one bright, uh, one bright fellow, that's for sure. Okay, let's move on to this gold market, folks. We're heading, we're heading lower in gold. There, I I just don't see anything that t changes anything. You know, we're down near the, the 1270. We're about ready to break it. Uh, this is where we were uh, as of yesterday, and we broke down uh, from that. And you'll see that, you know, we're heading down to that 1250 level. Uh, Arch told us yesterday, of course, that that 1250 level is going to be the 200-day uh, moving average. And um, that may or may not slow it down, but that will also be a 38% retracement of the low we made back in December of 2016 when we hit 10, uh, 1,030 uh, per ounce. So that'll be one to really watch it. But the key part here is that you're looking at this big ABCD pattern that is forming here uh, in the gold. And all of the retracements that we've had recently in the last couple of weeks have been 382 retracements. And that's telling you the market is absolutely uh, not very bullish. And that's the, the key to, uh, you know, why we're watching this. Silver is continuing to be bearish. Uh, platinum is bearish. Copper is hanging on by uh, a thread, and I mean a very, very short thread that has been worn because if we get copper any any place below 290, you're going to be looking at 270 to 260 per pound in copper in very, very short order. That's another one that looks... Uh, you know, extremely bearish because we've had no rally at all after a one month drop in a big bull market. The market is not rallying. We've seen this across the board in a lot of these commodities that when you don't get this, you know, you really uh, you're really standing in the in the way. So anyway, we got to uh, when we get back, we're going to take a little detour over across the farmland because we're in the harvest moon time. And we would want to talk about uh, some soybeans and we want to talk about some wheat because we got some interesting spots here. 877-927-6648. The Taz Profile Scanner Plus, developed by John Logan and his team, is a standalone piece of software that can change the way you trade. Let the Taz Profile Scanner work for you by scanning over 5,000 financial instruments such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. Right now, you can get a 30-day free trial to the Taz Profile Scanner Plus right at TFNN.com. And when you sign up, you gain instant access to John Logan its most recent webinar, How Price, Volume, and Time Make Market Profile So Unique. This hour-long webinar with John Logan will walk you through the most powerful features of the scanner and how you can use it to become a more successful and profitable trader. You pay absolutely nothing for 30 days while you try out this software risk-free.
free. For more information on the Taz Profile Scanner and to get your 30-day free trial today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN. Dot com now. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN. FNN.com. Larry takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Okay, folks, uh, we're back. I wanted to mention to you uh, a lot of you folks have been out here uh, to visit Sarah and I here in Tucson, and one of the really neat things to do. Uh, the first week in October is during the harvest moon is that we have Sabino Canyon, which is about two miles from where we live. It's up into the mountains, the uh, Catalina Mountains that are right behind our house here. And uh, the canyon stretches into about five miles. Uh, going into history, if you remember the Indian chief Geronimo, this is where he hid from the uh, the uh, troops that were stationed in Fort Lowell here back in 1865. And um, it's an incredible place. It's got beautiful streams. But if you go at midnight, and they have a midnight ride that starts at uh, about, well, they call it a midnight ride. It starts at 11, ends at about uh, 1.30 or 2. And you take a tram up through the canyon, and you can see all the animals feeding at night. You almost always see a mountain lion. Occasionally, you'll see a bear, but you'll see javelinas and all kinds of things. And it's really, um, you know, it's really quite uh, quite cool to do it. So if you're ever in Arizona, southern Arizona, Tucson, around this time, try to get a reservation. It's not easy to get, but you can get them. And it's really cheap. It's like, I think it's 10 bucks. And it's it's really something to see the animals at night. We also have a desert museum here that is really spectacular that shows all of the different uh, types of uh, animals that we have here uh, in the uh, old Pueblo here. Okay, let's take a look here at the bond market, folks. Uh, here again, we're looking at a market that certainly wants to go uh, a lot lower. That's what it looks like uh, uh, from what we're watching right here. So we'll have to keep a, a close eye on it. Let's just look to see where we are right now or close to it. Uh, we've had these 382 re uh, rallies, and that's all we've had, much like we've had in the uh, oh, hold on just a second uh, there we go there we go there you can see the uh, the 382 rallies that we've had in the bonds over the past couple of weeks and then we had one last week that got up to this 153.04 uh, level uh, we hit a high of 153.02 uh, then we backed off and we're still in this area here so keep an eye on that 153 uh, 04 level because that still represents a 382 rally and you know th if this is a all we get over a four-day rally that's really the definition 
of a dead cat bounce. But, you know, rates look like they want to go higher. I know there's a lot of rhetoric amongst the Fed governors, but uh, over there they don't count votes, folks. They weigh them. And believe me, the weight is in the young lady in the chair because uh, Miss Yellen is the one that pulls the strings there. And keep in mind that it is a private bank for bankers. They happen to control our money supply, but it's a private bank. So remember that that's what they do. So pay close attention to what they do, but they don't tell you everything that they do. All right. I have to be corrected here for a little bit. If you remember yesterday, uh, I brought up the uh, situation of the open interest that's going on in the E-mini and everything in the E-mini, the um, Dow and the S&P and the NASDAQ and the Russell. Well, yesterday, uh, let me just show you what we were looking at yesterday. Going into last week, you'll see four days in a row we had pretty big decreases. Well, yesterday on Monday, as we made new highs, we had slight increases in three of the four indices. It was only the uh, Dow Jones Industrial Average that had a very minor uh, drop in open interest. But uh, there was increases yesterday in the S&P and in the NASDAQ. So there was new buying coming in, which uh, certainly, sort of puts a, uh, a little bit of a damper on my theory of open interest. But that's just one day. You have to see what happens each day because you want to follow it. Because if you see these big drops in open interest, that's telling you that the texture of the market is uh, certainly going to be uh, changing. Uh, I wanted to talk just a little bit about the soybean market, folks. I posted the chart of the soybeans uh, this morning. Uh, and you'll see that that uh, January beans, which is uh, our spot spot month right now, uh, just made a, a beautiful 61 percent retracement. It's at a very, very key level. And the reason why I'm uh, bringing it up is that we're right into this full moon area. And, uh, you know, the moon has a really strong tendency to make some of these things change. And uh, it is, a you know, it's slightly bullish because you have higher bottoms. And you have slightly higher tops on a shorter term basis. But uh, these higher bottoms, you know, could be very interesting. Now, if we switch over uh, to the wheat market, which is also very much influenced by the moon, and you'll notice here that uh, we're also seeing a rising uh, trend line. And each of those bottoms was exactly 61% retracement of the previous bottom. So it's showing you that you have a lot of strong support here around that 435 uh, a bushel level uh, in uh, you know the Christmas wheat because it's got a it's got a chance here uh, you know for a harvest rally which would be uh, you know typical for this time of the year. It's very low very low risk here because if we break below that line. Anything that gets down to around 435 would tell you, whoops, something's not right. So uh, that's, the, that's the key to that is to look at that as a possibility of that. Someone's asking a question. So if it broke that 61% retracement to the downside in the beans, well, the next level, of course, uh, uh, Cam, would be you'd be want to be look at the 78% level. That's only nine cents away because the ranges are very, very small. But the fact is that it held it so far. It's important to watch it as we come into this uh, this full moon that we're going to have on Thursday. So we need to look at that with a little bit of a close eye as we get to that level. That's uh, the key thing uh, to look at. Another one that is looking very interesting here uh, is also the soybean oil market. We'll bring this up to let you folks look at it. Because here's a good example, Cam. This will be. This is a good example of what happens. You'll notice how. It stopped at the 61% retracement momentarily for one day when it was trading at 33.25, uh, and then it broke and it went down to the 78% level. Well, it's trading around 32.69 this morning. And so anything, if it makes a new low than yesterday, this pattern is wrong, and you know, you're, you're going to go down even lower. So the key, the, the, the real good part about the Fibonacci numbers uh, is the fact that we're going to be looking at something that looks... Uh, like you have either major support or not. And if it breaks, you just get a stand aside. Now, no, Bill Meridian was not on the show yesterday. Um, we had Arch Crawford as our guest, and uh, he's always interesting. And, of course, Bill and uh, uh, Arch Crawford are old friends. We all met at – well, actually, Bill and uh, Arch were friends before – I met either one of them because I'm the new kid in the block when it comes to astrology. Those guys were doing it, you know, way back in the 60s, and I didn't start it till the uh, till the 80s. So, 
Uh, but Arch is a really good, those of you that have met him, you know, he's just a super nice guy. In fact, all these people are nice. You know, that's one good thing about this business is the fact that you meet such great people. I mean, you know, I was fortunate enough to run into Tom O'Brien about 10 years ago, and uh, it's been a, a fun time with these guys. All these folks in the den are very, very smart. Yeah, I mean, there might be a putz or two that we have to run into, but, you know, like the you know, old grandpa said, you got to kiss a few frogs to find a princess, and that's what uh, pretty much happens sometimes in life that you've got to take the good with the bad. That's the way it looks like. Anyway, um, we're going to have a break here, and we get back. We want to look at a couple of stocks that I think are uh, very interesting here uh, from a longer-term perspective. 877-927-6648. Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you'll lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. <laughs> Okay, we're back, folks, and uh, we're going to talk here a little bit about the euro. As you can see here, we've been in a downtrend since we had that 
a head and shoulders pattern that uh, formed a couple weeks ago, and uh, we've been heading down. We had a little bit of a rally up to a 382 level the other day. Uh, we made new lows here in the last uh, the other day. We broke below the 786 substantially. Now we're back above it by just a little bit. But what I'm expecting here is uh, is about an 80 pip rally off of this past bottom. And 80 happens to be um, you know the harmonic number in euro, so it would get it up to the 61 percent retracement, up about another 20 pips from where we are right now. And I don't think it'll get much higher than that. But that again, that's my opinion, you know, based on technical analysis. Uh, if we get above 1800, you know, then, or excuse me, 118, that would tell us that uh, this thing is probably going to go a little bit higher. But 11780 is what I'm looking at as far as uh, you know some really serious. Uh, resistance. That's really what I'm looking at. Okay, let's take a look at a couple of stocks that we've been following very closely. One, of course, is the apple of everybody's eye, which happens to be Apple. And we're going to take a look at this here. Um, this this stock is much weaker than the rest of the market, as you can see here. Uh, we made the 1.618 expansion here. Remember, the long-term weekly on this going back 15 years had two 1.618 expansions that ended at 165, and that's been our high. So you have to respect that. What we're looking at here is we've only had a 38% retracement here over the past seven trading days. So even with the advent of the iPhone 10, it certainly makes a really interesting uh, spot to uh, watch these uh, things unfold as we get to these, you know, really, really critical levels. Now, there's another one that looks uh, even more ominous, and it is the most popular uh, stock in the world that uh, controls everything now, or not yet, not yet, but close, and that is uh, Amazon. You'll notice here uh, in Amazon, this is really interesting because this is a textbook uh, head and shoulders pattern. As you can see, the left shoulder and the right shoulder are uh, perfectly set up with the right shoulder being lower than the left shoulder, which is another sign of bearishness. The time between the left shoulder, the head, and the right shoulder is pretty much spot on. We had an ABCD structure right into the 382 level on the right shoulder. Then we took out the low. Uh, of uh, August, and then we've had a 38% rally. Well, it's a 50% rally uh, in the uh, Amazon here over the last seven trading days. And if you'll notice, that's been a very weak rally for Amazon. You know, when it's trading around you know the 860 or 960 level. So uh, that's a good $130 down from its high. So this market does look look bearish. It really does, folks. Now. How does this change? If with, if Amazon were to rally fifty dollars a share to get above a thousand, this pattern would be shattered, and you'd have to assume that it's going to have some more of a rally. But until that happens, you know the market still looks like uh, Amazon is in a bearish mode. You ask yourself, how could that be? You know, when this stock has everything going for it, uh, you know, it's like mother God and country, the easiest place to do business in the world. But, you know, this is the way things happen, folks. Look at Apple. I mean, my gosh, they got $200 billion uh, overseas in cash, and they got a product product line that everybody would love to have, and yet the stock, you know, technically it just doesn't look bullish. That's, you know, pretty much uh, the way it looks. So I'm not sure if it's going to be right or not. But that's the way it's looking here, so we'll pay attention to it to see uh, to see what's uh, to see what's uh, what's going on here. Okay, now there's another one here that pay, you have to pay attention to because it's a uh, it's a really big one, and this is the banking index. This is also making a new high. Uh, you know, we made that big A B C uh, D pattern as you can see here back on uh, September the 11th, which was the other Bradley date, and now we've gone up and we've made new highs uh, yesterday. Uh, in the uh, banking index, and it looks like we're going to be a little bit higher this morning also. So this is another one that is acting uh, pretty much spot on. Uh, I have to answer a question here from one of the emails that I got last night, and that is, uh, you know, about trading. How do you go about 
you know, handling when you lose, uh, you know, uh, you know, many times in a row, like five, six or seven or eight or 10, whatever it happens to be. How do you do that? Folks, it's like playing golf. If you and I don't like golf at all. I, I don't enjoy the game because I've only played it twice. Uh, my first round, I shot a 36 and then they told me they had 17 more holes. Anyway, what I'd like to show, share with you is that when you lose, you're just that much closer to your next win. You have to build that belief system into your system. You really do. Uh, this is one of the things that Mark Douglas, uh, when he wrote the book Trading in the Zone here in my office in Tucson, uh, he drilled this into me and all the people that he interviewed that came through here. It was really the, uh, the really, uh, it's important that you have to have a belief system that says you have to just continue to go. You see people, look at look at Tiger Woods. He's been in a, what, four or five-year slump? And yet I think he'll come out of it. Uh, uh, golfers think he's over, but I frankly don't think that's the, the case. So we're just looking at it. Uh, someone's asking a question about the chart of the U.S. dollar versus the price of oil on a monthly chart. Um, you know, uh, Peak D, the problem with that is, is that when you start looking at these uh, – markets that are interrelated uh john murphy wrote a book on this i can't remember the name of it off the hand but you know what what i that it's good information but the problem is uh <laughs> the problem is I, I don't i don't gamble but i wouldn't take the bet because uh you know he he may be over but i don't know if he is or not let's just take a look at this uh this interaction of commodities and, and oil and all this other stuff. When you come down to trade, that can't be part of your trading strategy because if you're trading pattern recognition, you're looking at the bar chart to tell you whether that's completed a major pattern. And that interaction of the U.S. dollar versus crude oil may or may not play a factor in it. But that's not going to be on your equity run, folks. Your equity run is going to be what are you going to be trading, the U.S. dollar or the crude oil. So that's what you have to focus on. I hope, you know, that's the way I look at it. I try to keep it as simple as possible. And, uh, you know, that's uh, the main thing that I, I try to look at. And that's the only thing that I can look at, you know. And, you know, that's basically it. So we'll see. Okay. Anyway, uh, one of the main things today is uh, we got a, another break here in another minute or two. Keep an eye on these grains here um, today, tomorrow, and Thursday because uh, they're over this uh, harvest moon. And that's a pretty big cycle. In fact, everything in China is closed this whole week. It's such a big thing. So um, we'll watch this one uh, very, very closely. In fact, if you're in an area where you can see the moon without any smog or clouds, it's really a spectacular, uh, you know, it's just like, a, you know, just daylight because the farmers used to go out in the middle of the night. Uh, well, you know, four, 3 o'clock in the morning now with their tractors, you know, these tractors have uh, – everything but drones and some of them probably have that too okay the next thing we're going to come up after the break uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about this bradley index i've had probably more emails about that this week than anything i've had in a long time so we'll be watching it very very closely as we look come into today okay now we'll see one other question that someone wanted to ask me i covered the I'll, I'll cover talk a little bit more about the uh, about how to handle losses, folks, because the, you're just going to have to get used to that if you trade. Losses are going to be like, you know, like breathing. You have to have them. You know, it's just nothing else. Okay, we'll be right back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global 
global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, is now at 11 a.m. Followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, Trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, brought to you by Nadex, next on TFNN. Okay, folks, I uh, had an interesting question here during the break, and uh, the question was, what are the probability of uh, the market making a significant top here this week. And I, <laughs> I'm going to have to say uh, somewhere between 120 and 180 percent. That's the way I look at it. Uh, the risk here is very, very small because if we get above 2535, 2535, in other words, six or seven, eight points from where we are right now, it's probably uh, not correct. But here again, Go back to the adage. There's no mistake in being wrong. The mistake is in staying wrong. You have to keep that in mind. It's a, it's a very important thing uh, to realize that you know, everybody is wrong on things. It's just a question of the, the professional tries to realize when he's wrong immediately, and uh, that's what you're looking at. Anyway, I'm just looking at the pattern. I, I posted that chart of the uh, E-mini S&P. I think that's a, uh, a real important thing to look at. Uh, we are over this date within a day or two. Of course, the orb on this thing is always. Uh, hold on one second. Anyway, that's uh, anyway that's we can see where we are up, up at this level at one two seven twenty five uh, thirty. I don't think we've been to twenty five thirty. I think we've been to twenty nine and a half. But that's you know it's very small. There's very little uh, volume this morning. It's 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 quite unusual with the market at new highs like this that we're not having a lot more volume. But we see that in that chart that Arch Crawford sent us where we have the new highs to new lows. That's also uh, dissipating, telling us that it looks uh, rather ominous. And a lot of these long-term patterns have certainly completed. Uh, if you look at this New York Stock Exchange Index, uh, you know, that's completed uh, the big ABCD. Uh, yep, it should be making a new high. Uh, at uh, I think it's 122.25 is the number that I was looking at. Uh, for the one, uh, no, it's 122, uh, 35 to 45 is the uh, big 1.618. 
on that. The, the VIX index is still hanging above the high, you know, above the lows, folks. I mean, we haven't broken below nine yet. If we do, then, you know, we'll see. But this is the time that you want to be able to uh, to be looking at it. I don't follow the uh, XRB Home, Bold, Home Builders Index. Um, I don't trade it. I, you know, I'm, I'm sure it trades nicely, but I really don't uh, – really don't follow it very much so I can't really uh, you know what maybe I could take a look at it I might have it uh, yes I love Colorado too SMH I believe that's the semiconductor uh, index folks I really don't do much in these stocks I mean the forex and stuff is uh, is really what uh, I follow foreign exchange and the commodities and that keeps me really busy so uh, you know and that's where the real fun is and the, the, the more you have more volatility in those and that's why I, I like them but I grew up with that stuff so you know remember when I when I first started trading I think we had 26 commodities and now we've got <laughs> they have everything so I'm not sure that's going to be uh, that's going to be the case here so we'll see okay um, Let's get back to just to, uh, talking about the how you handle losses. Folks, when I started this business uh, many, many years ago, six decades ago, I went through a transition of, you know, I, I've always, for some reason, God has always smiled on me, and I always come out ahead no matter, you know, what happens. I just seem to be one of those lucky ones. But it's not been an easy run, believe me. I have made a lot of stupid mistakes along the way. But if you will not give up, that's the main thing. You, you don't want to ever give up, but you have to find a strategy that fits your personality. And believe me, there's a lot of different ways to skin a cat. I like pattern recognition because it fits in with the numbers of the Fibonacci uh, and the numbers of sacred geometry and stuff like that. It gives me a place where I can see where I'm going to be right or wrong. That's included in the cycles that we look at. But uh, you have to find something that, that you like. And there's a lot of different methodologies that they show here at TFNN that, uh, that can help you because basically what they're doing here is you're going to be uh, you're going to be okay? Uh, someone's asked, did you after? There's a good question, and P Peak D is asking. After I suffered a big loss, did I get scared? I will tell you the story about that. It was in October. Here we are. It was around this time of the year, 1974. I had just uh, it was a it was a Friday, and I just gotten blown out of all my positions at Conti Commodity. I had had uh, I'd taken thirty thousand. I ran it to. Uh, a little over 1.1 million over a period of about two years. And then I gave it all back within an eight-week period by doing some of the stupidest things you could ever want to do in your life. But what I did was uh, what I – I got down to the point where when they sold me out, I had a minus $2,700 uh, debit balance at Conti. But, you know, folks, I actually, I wasn't scared at all. I really wasn't. All I did was I said, if I made that kind of money, I certainly got to be able to find a way to make it back. And so uh, I was in Santa Barbara at the time, and uh, I, you know, I, 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 I felt, you know, depressed a little bit, but I was not scared. I really wasn't. And that following Monday, I, I took a, a plane back to Indiana to see my good friend who got me started in this and uh, my college professor. And he laughed at me. He said, you think you're alone doing something like this? And I said, no. He says, what, what do I do? He said, go through and look what you did wrong. And he said, I can tell you what you did wrong. He said, you added the losing positions. He said, you didn't you know, calculate your risk. You didn't get out of positions that were hurting you. And I said, yep, you're all those things. He said, well, you correct those and you'll be okay. And it took me a good 18 months, you know, to get, you know, headed back towards the uh, the finish line. And I finally, uh, over a period of a couple of years, I, you know, started to go back. But I, uh, I don't want to go through that again. And I try to tell people that, you know, the main thing, there's, if this is really, the business is really quite simple. Folks, if you're in a position and you you don't have a profit in it after three days, you know you most probably you're wrong. So there that use the three day rule. John Hill told me this one many years ago. He got it from one of the rare books that uh, John had given me over the years, and it was a uh, I believe it was either Bernard Baruch or um, it wasn't Livermore. It was either it might have well I can't remember who it was, but if you're if you're not in if you're in a position and you're not profitable after three days get out of it uh when i when i had my seat at the chicago mercantile exchange uh 
I traded through Lynn Waldock, and Barry Lind happened to be a good friend. And he asked me, he says, what can I do to make your stay here in Chicago uh, a lot of fun? And I said, look, if I've got a position and I'm in the third day, and I am still at a loss. Could you just take it off for me? And he said, sure. He said, uh, you know, we can do that without any trouble at all. And, uh, you know, and that's what happened. Five or six times during the couple of years I was there, they came up to me and said, uh, do you want us to take you out or do you want to put the order in? I said, just take it out. And it clears your head. You move on to the next trade. And that's about it. Remember, you're married to your wife. You're not married to your positions. That's a real good point that someone just brought up here in the den that you really want to be able to look at. And you're, you, you're going to be wrong lots of times. You're going to be right a few times. And if you try to handle your risk the best you can, you know, that's all you can really do. You pay your money and you take your choice. And from there, you got to just move on. You know what I mean? That's really what we're, what we're looking at here as we're as we're watching this stuff so pay uh, close attention to this folks because uh we've got a really good we're almost making new highs now in the uh nasdaq which would be uh well it wouldn't be new high it would be taking out yesterday's high we haven't quite done it yet in the uh, nasdaq but we probably will i would imagine very soon 877-927-6648 I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Okay, folks, we're going to show the Bradley uh, index here. Um, as you can see here, the Bradley date starts here on the 2nd, goes all the way out to the 5th. And uh, whether this is going to work or not, we'll have to wait and see. I do want to mention that I'm going to be doing a webinar on October the 16th with John Jameson from the Isle of Man. I worked with him a little over two hours yesterday on this. And folks, uh, believe me, if you've got time, you've got to go see this webinar. Uh, John is a, uh, well, he, he's very, very smart. He deals in uh, Renaissance art uh, from the Isle of Man, but he's, he's a full-time trader. Uh, and he's all, all about statistics, and he's taken some of the things uh, that I've worked on over the years called the opening price and harmonic numbers, and he's put these into a, a structure to show you which is the best day of the week to trade. Uh, which is the best hour of the day to trade on the E-mini S&P and then also on the Euro. You're, you've got to see these statistics because uh, I, frankly, I was blown away. I mean, here I've been looking at stuff for years. I've never statistically broke it down uh, like he has done. And it's, it's really, it's really spectacular to how to put the odds, you know, very, very heavily in your favor. So uh, I hope you get a chance to listen to this webinar because it's really going to be spectacular. We were going to do it together, but frankly, after listening to what he has, uh, I'm going to be guiding him a lot. No, I'm not going to be guiding. I'm just going to be, you know, handling questions and maybe adding a few things uh, as we go through because it's really spectacular stuff. You you'll really enjoy it. I uh, I can tell you that without uh, without a doubt. Because when someone can completely hold my attention for two hours, uh, that must be pretty good. Uh, but that's just my two cents worth. But it ought to be pretty good. Anyway, we've got this Bradley date this week here. The full moon comes in on the 5th. We have uh, Norm Winsky will be our guest here on uh, Thursday. So we'll have him uh, give us an idea of what he's looking at. I believe he's in the cell zone uh, on his work. But, you know, like anybody says, you know, this stuff can back off quickly and run up quickly. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com.